Welcome, and thanks for taking a few minutes to check out this quick overview of the VMSG Dashboard Public Health Performance Management System. What is the VMSG Dashboard? The VMSG Dashboard truly is a public health performance management system. It's been developed and updated with feedback from public health departments like yours all across the nation, specifically for the needs of public health. At the core, the VMSG Dashboard is a comprehensive operational planning and execution system. Operational plans, by definition, take the plan all the way down to a specific set of activities to be accomplished by a specific team of people in a specific time frame and measured in a specific way. The Deming or PDCA cycle, plan, do, check, and adjust, keeps the plans alive and constantly moving forward. The dashboard is in use by hundreds of health departments across the USA who are pursuing FAB accreditation or reaccreditation. In every case, the dashboard has been designated by FAB as fully demonstrated their highest level of compliance for the implementation of Accreditation Standard 9.1 and its related measures. Measure 9.1.1a talks specifically about engaging staff at all levels in your department with performance management. The dashboard is a full multi-user system, giving everyone their own unique login. This allows you to easily engage your entire staff, including selected external partners, to distribute the opportunity to keep the plans and information up to date. So, what is performance management? Well, there's a bunch of definitions, so I'll just give you ours. We believe that over the years, we've narrowed it down to three key elements. Develop the plan, monitor the plan, improve the performance. The first step is developing operational plans. We have integrated the public health standard planning model into the dashboard. This hierarchical planning model allows you to develop plans all the way down to a specific set of activities. These activities will be completed in a specific time frame by a specific group of people with specific metrics. These plans can range anywhere from your strategic plan to the FAB six-pack of plans for accreditation that you see here in the little clouds, to plans related to specific issues like planning for and tracking pandemic response. The real-time planning and tracking is a great tool to efficiently collect and analyze testing and results all across your community. Next, once the plans are developed and executing, we monitor the plans at every level in real time. Plans can be monitored at the department, division, or program, all the way down to a specific set of activities. At the micro level, you can see the performance history of any specific objective or activity. At the macro level, you can get a detailed snapshot of the overall performance of the department, division, office program, or any plan. And you can easily create interactive public-facing web pages to graphically show the status of any or all of the micro or macro performance indicators. The last step, now that you've developed and are monitoring your plans, you'll make continuous improvements using the PDCA or Plan, Do, Check, and Adjust cycle. After the first step of planning and then executing the plans in the do phase, we move into performance monitoring or the check phase. Based on the results of the check phase, you can make corrections to the plan or to the resources to improve performance. This cycle repeats until the plan is completed. So the three steps to public health performance management, develop the plan, monitor the plan, improve the performance. A complete document management system was added to the dashboard initially to assist departments seeking state or national accreditation. Collecting, organizing, and managing hundreds of documents before they get submitted up into EFAB or the state accrediting body can be a daunting task. The document management system allows you to attach documents to any part of any plan so you always know exactly what and where they are. The document management system is also great for things like policy management, and grant management where you need immediate access to the related documents. 3D planning allows you to look for commonalities, gaps, and overlaps across all the plans and documents in the dashboard. For example, which pieces of which plans support the 12 essentials of public health and accreditation? Which plan elements are related to FAB Standard 6.1? Which pieces of the plans support the strategic priority of partnering from your strategic plan? And which documents will you submit for each FAB standard and measure? 3D planning is a great way to identify commonalities, gaps, and overlaps across all the different plans in the department. Intelligent real-time planning is a streamlined way to distribute the ability to keep the plan information up to date. It's a combination of an automated email notification system and the quick update tools. On a regular basis, if you're choosing, the email notifications go out to the folks assigned as leads for opportunities and activities. The email links them back to the quick update system, which is a very simple, efficient way to collect information and keep the plans up to date. 
Thinking of situations like pandemic response, this is a great tool for collecting the number of tests and positive test results from public health clinics and medical facilities across the entire community. In addition, it's a great way to track the pandemic-related grants for reporting back to the grantors. The VMSG dashboard has a wide array of reports to cover everything in the system. Here's an example of an operational plan report for the car seat program within the Safe Kids program. An operational plan report can show you the complete status of every level in your plan. At the top, you'll see a complete set of controls to customize your reports. The reports are all flexible for dates and detail levels. The accreditation and reaccreditation operational plans were developed by condensing all of the documents created by FAB for the accreditation and reaccreditation process into an automated operational plan. Here you can see the 12 domains. For each domain, you can see the standards as well as the reaccreditation measures. For each standard, you can see the measures. And the good part, for each measure, there are a specific set of activities that will allow you to accomplish that measure. Now, for each of those activities, you're going to end up providing a set of documents. That's where document management comes in. So the button down here is your document management button. It says we've got three documents attached. Click on that. You can see that we have these three documents attached in there. These are the documents that you'll be submitting for that particular activity related to that measure. In this plan, you can assign domain leads and target dates for all the related activities. This plan then becomes part of that real-time planning process, and each lead will get an automated email notification to drive the process and keep the information and documents updated. The accreditation and reaccreditation plan is a great way to drive, track, and manage the entire accreditation process from start to finish. Another benefit of using the accreditation and reaccreditation plan is the ability to have a virtual mock site visit. Many health departments choose to go through a mock site visit before their actual FAB site visit just to increase the opportunity to pass the site visit the first time. Using the accreditation plan gives you the ability to do a virtual mock site visit. Instead of the expenses of flying someone in, paying for hotel, meals, and daily rates, you can allow your designated mock site visitor to review all of your plans and documents remotely. The mock site visitor can review each activity and grade the department's responses and documents. Once the site visitor has completed the review, you'll have access to a report showing the complete results of the review and the specific areas requiring your attention before the FAB site visit. The dashboard's context-sensitive help and information is available from any screen at any time. When you click on this help icon at the top of the screen, you'll be directed to the proper help topic based on your current function. Here you have a bulleted list of everything you can do on the screen, as well as access to the complete user guide and implementation guidelines documents. Up here are the five training curriculums. These training curriculums take you through every feature and function of the dashboard. Training and help are available 24 seven. To summarize, here are some of the primary benefits of the VMSG dashboard. Our sliding scale annual license cost model makes the VMSG dashboard affordable for departments with only a few users or departments with hundreds of users. No startup costs, no training costs, no support costs. With individual operational plans for each division, office, and program, you can manage each part of the health department in real time. Three-dimensional planning allows you to identify gaps, overlaps, and commonalities across all of your plans and programs. Many of the dashboard features were designed to help departments navigate the FAB and state accreditation and reaccreditation processes. The dashboard has built in a complete FAB accreditation project plan. And from an IT perspective, the entire system is cloud-based. No installations required. You just need a web browser on your end. We do all the backups, support, and training on our end. Thanks for taking the time to review the VMSG dashboard public health performance management system. If you have any questions or would like more information or would like to see a live demonstration of the VMSG dashboard, please contact us using the contact information here.